Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today I have a new release. I've got Celebration Candy from Soda Pop Miniatures or Ninja Division or both of them or one or the other. But she is the newest model, just like Kingdom Death had their 10th anniversary. So is Ninja Division or Soda Pop or whoever they are these days. It's Candy's 10th anniversary, let's say that. So I was interested to see what this model is gonna look like. You've got her rules there. One of the fun things about Super Dungeon Explore is that every hero kind of does their own thing. Nice to see the cards are a bit thicker than some of the previous ones. <clears throat> Candy does have a boring slotted base. Is she going to have a slot to insert into that base? Yeah, probably not, but we'll take a look anyways. All right, so what do we got? Is this... What is this? It looks like just flash. I'm just going to toss that back in there. Okay, let's take a look at the actual model. So, pretty cleanly cast. It doesn't look like it's going to be as big of a battle trying to get everything off of the gate piece that everything is attached to. If you've seen some of my other videos, it was work. It was serious work trying to get everything unattached. Candy seems to be following in the tradition of having teeny tiny little legs and feet which I'm not a big fan of, but that seems to be the direction that Ninja Division are heading with their SD SDGB Super Dungeon models. It is what it is. Um, just be careful. The spoon, the sword handle, and the candle itself for the cake are quite thin, and I sincerely worry about it, but we're going to do the best we can with it anyway. Besides candy, you're obviously going to have cola. I'm not sure where he's supposed to go on the base. Does the card show us? Let's see here. I guess it's right next to her. I always like candy. I wish they had just a regular candy model that has the same kind of styled armor, but in a less silly pose. Obviously, she's going to battle it out with a spoon and cake. I mean, literally, she has a cake toss attack. How cool is that? Still got her soda detector. Nothing but frosting. I know she's always had some kind of a healing potion ability, but it's interesting she's got two different ones there. I don't know if that was always the case. Strength-based rather than willpower like some of the other heroes we've looked at. But I'll leave that to the people that actually know what the heck they're doing. It's been a while since I've played Super Dungeon, <clears throat> but hopefully I am planning to get arena out for a spin one of these days so fingers crossed i can get her put together and we'll take a look at what that looks like in just a sec and we have celebration candy pretty much done so obviously cola is not attached and i just want to have a little gripe while i can is that his teeny tiny feet got broken because they had a ridiculously stupid contact point to get him off of the casting gate. I think they should have attached it in a different spot, but I'm not in charge. Please, guys, if anybody from Ninja Division is watching this or can let them know, you guys got to work on where you put those contact points because it was really a pain. And I did manage to get her together in just about one piece. Her sword didn't want to really fit into her back as best as I had hoped, and without getting glued to the base, she is really lopsided. And hopefully in her lopsidedness for the time being, that doesn't result in the model getting broken. I'm not sure where Cola is supposed to go on the base. I think it's just like, it's going to be a little bit crowded with the two of them on that. Okay, that, <laughs> never mind. That kind of works. I'm just afraid I'm going to end up breaking that spoon on camera here. And I really hope I don't. So grabbing some other models just to see how big she is. I do have that Twilight Knight who needs to get painted nearby. Pretty close in size. Now our Twilight friend is obviously kneeling, whereas Candy is actually propped up on something else. And she's still about the same size. And... Is it Howl and Yip, or is that the... I don't know who that is. With our Night Hunter friend. She's about the same size with a Bonesian model. From Bonesylvania, or whatever they call their new SD line of chibi models. You can see he's pretty close in scale. Oh, come on, Candy. 
keep it together for just a little while longer, please. No. Anyway, she has a nice little model. Um, having cola as well on the base is going to be a challenge. I would absolutely, and I can tell you I will, paint her first and then cola and then glue it all together. But basing it is going to be the other challenge. <laughs> I really don't know why they keep including these bases like this. There's no point. I mean, if they're going to spring for including the base in the first place, why not have something like the Ninja All-Stars ones? Or why not have something like the original Super Dungeon ones with the kind of, you know, textured rock? It makes more sense to me, but it is what it is. She has also a little bit more money, and outside of having cola on the base with her, I don't really see a reason why. It doesn't seem like there's any more substantial amount of model with candy versus our night hunter friend who is actually $5 cheaper. And again, outside of just the exclusivity of it, I guess that's the reason why. I mean, if you like to lord that over other people when you play a game, more power to you. I'm not really into that. And I do hope that despite her being a bit of a limited edition model, you know, that people are able to track this stuff down later on. I know they have had some of their limited edition models on Ninja Division's website show back up again once or twice since their release. So if you go on their website today and it's not there after you watch this, and you're like, oh my God, I gotta have that model. And it's not, well, you know, there is a chance. Who knows? Maybe next year around their anniversary, they might do something similar. For Black Friday, Black Friday always likes to get, you know, more models. God damn, I cannot stand her up. This is really pissing me off. Anyway, cool model overall. I think it'll look a lot cooler when she is painted and able to balance on her own, or at least glued onto something. That'll help as well. With that said, this is High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, and I will see you all later. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll stick around and check out some of our other videos too. Bye-bye.